What's going on people? For you guys that are returning, welcome back. And for anyone new coming to this video, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm sure as you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna take a look into liquidity. We're gonna take a look how we can utilize liquidity from higher timeframes and then reduce it down to smaller timeframes or lower timeframes to then be able to get sort of precise entries. So, the first example that I have right here, um, we're on US, Euro USD right now. Um, we are clearly in a downtrend, right? We can tell this by looking at either daily structure or four hour structure, right? We're making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, okay? So if we drop down to the four hour time frame, first thing that we can really see here, which I've obviously got, I've got marked off, um, is this low. Okay, so this low has been put in and one thing that I teach is when you have a relatively, you know, a very large wick in this case, but any sort of relatively large wick, let's just say for these ones, for these ones, anything like this, I would see this as some sort of liquidity, right? It's um, reacted from that place relatively fast and there's going to be orders left in that area, right? Now that doesn't mean that potentially price could come back up into these areas and then have a reaction and then break through. Okay, these are the sorts of things that breakout traders try to kind of get in line with. Now, we're not actually looking to do that. We're looking to use these as targets. Okay, so sometimes they obviously work very fluently. They just, you know, go straight to target. Uh, sometimes you'll get a bit of a reaction, a bit of consolidation around these areas, and then it will break through. Okay, and then obviously vice versa. Sometimes it will get to the, these areas and there will be a POI inside of that area. Um, and the market will drive, you know, lower or higher, depending on which way, you know, this uh, POI is. So for this one here, we've got this low um, and we can clearly see that this low has taken out this low here. All right. So the next thing that we can do is we can drop down to a lower time frame. So hourly, we can still see this low has been taken out by this low and we still have no body close below. OK, so. What do we then do? Okay, we can drop down again. We can go to the 15 minute time frame, and once again, we can see no body close below this level. Okay, there's the bodies have all closed above, and there has been a wick to the downside. Right, so this is indicating to us that potentially what we've what we're seeing is a liquidity sweep. We're sweeping below this low, taking out anyone who wants to, you know, continue this short. If if the if there's a breakout trader, uh, you know, they're going to try and sell from below this level. So when it breaks out, uh, they're obviously going to be selling. And then this is just going to return back to the upside. So this is not what we're trying to focus on, but it is a main point to be wary of, right? To understand this is the reason why this works. Okay. So, um, yeah. And also vice versa, anyone who is trying to buy from a potential POI inside of here, then obviously this low gets swept, they, those people get taken out, um, and then obviously we, we return back to the upside. Um, we can also sort of measure from the previous low. Okay, so this is 7.5 pips uh, roughly. So depending on what time frame you're on, depending on what you're kind of looking at, you can sort of look to see between sort of one to five pips um, of a sweep of liquidity that is roughly you know about fine if you're then on the one minute time frame then you can look for literally just a wick going through the level and this is still absolutely fine so what we can then do is drop down to the one minute time frame because what we actually understand from this um, point of view is if we're sweeping this liquidity and then returning back to the upside very fast then what we need to do is we need to be quick on our toes right we need to be able to get into this market relatively quickly um, to be able to ride it back to the upside if this is the case. So with the understanding that we've swept this low, what do you think the next stage is, the next step for this trade would be? Well, if you know anything about practicality of the market, what you then need to do is on the lower time frame. So we're on the minute right now because we want to be quick and snappy inside of this area before you know price breaks too far to the upside okay so we have this high here which is you know a structural high 
uh, on the one minute time frame, and you can see that we haven't broken out of that yet which is great for us so when we're still if we're using the concept which i have already provided you the high to the low this is the range right so we're still inside of this range we have potential to come back down into some of these pois um, you know look at these as liquidity potentially da, 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 da. so we need to be careful of that and you know understanding that we're still inside the range we still have a potential to get into this trade okay so the next thing that we would look to do after identifying the higher time frame sweep on liquidity we would drop down to the lower time frames and then we're looking for simply just another sweep on liquidity okay so this is a low which has been put in we have then failed to break this high then swept this low taking out this low here right and then we've started to break to the upside okay giving sort of minor breaks of structure on the lower time frames okay so how can we utilize this where can we then look to place a trade right so if you watched my previous video on the the last video that you need on order blocks you will understand that if an order block sweeps liquidity and then breaks structure it is quite highly likely that that is going to be where the market is going to return to now if you have been looking at my cursor which is exactly what i do all the time i'm always looking at my cursor seeing okay what's to my right what's to my left so if we mark off this last POI, this down close candle, which swept liquidity and then broke structure to the upside. OK, we can see price comes very nicely back into this area here um, and then we can simply just trade exactly from there. Right. So let's just say we take the 50 percent level. Um, this is also where the seconds time frame really comes in handy. Um, unfortunately, um, we're looking at sort of 7th of December. Um, it's just over a month ago now. So I can't get down onto the seconds time frames. But what you can then do is use the refinement method in this area here, which I also provided to you in the order block vi video. And then you can look to get this entry, um, you know, even more precise um, and potentially even take a smaller entry inside of here with your stop loss below here and then you can get some sort of ridiculous trades okay so let's just look at using the one minute time frame just because i want to be broad for kind of everyone i know everyone has the one minute time frame so that's great um then we can take this trade from here now if we jump back out onto a higher time frame what we can then do is identify where potentially we are looking to to take our profits right well we can see along here we have a bit of trend line liquidity okay these are some highs which have been left i keep pressing the wrong one there we go um so this could be potentially seen as you know we're going to run up above this because then we can see this as sort of trend line liquidity we could even put it to like here and say okay what's going to take out this level going to take out this level da, 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 da. what's the other main kind of ways that we look at liquidity well the two other ones are previous highs and equal highs okay and then obviously vice versa previous lows and equal lows okay so here we can see this is the most kind of structural point in the 15 minute time frame right so what we'll do is we'll mark off this high and we'll say okay this is going to be my level of final take profit right we're going to look to take profit there and we're going to extend that up to that level okay exactly on it you know price can push a little bit through it but we're not worried about that we as long as we get the majority of our position off at that point if it goes any further then that's great if it doesn't then you know we're out of the trade with a very solid profit and this is looking at a 34 to, to 1 at the moment right so you can afford to sort of take profits here take profits above this high take profits above this high and then finally take your final position off here potentially leaving a small piece on um, obviously if the price does run any further okay so another kind of way that we can look at this um, for the second example is this is now our new range right so we have this low and then this high up here okay so this is the low all the way up to this next high before we get the pullback okay this is the major pullback here <clears throat> now obviously what you would be doing prior to this happening here is you would say okay this is my range um, and then you get this push up higher and then obviously price pulls back to the downside so then what you do is quickly just move your range to here and then you got your range right so we can use 
the premium versus discount. Okay, so this is the low and then this is the high. What we can do is we can see that this is where obviously the 50% line is. We can look to take a potential trade from here, okay? Continuing if price wants to continue higher. Now, obviously, yes, we can see that price goes higher, but it's the breakdown and the narrative for why we are looking to take price higher. Well, on the higher time frames, we can see that on the four hour, we have swept this low and then closed above. Now we can start targeting these highs up here, right? So getting back down onto the 15 minute time frame, we have our premium versus discount. This is the swing low, which created this run to the upside. This is the swing high, which is the highest point inside of this range. And what we can see here is we have the last down close candle right here, which is inside of the discounted market, okay? Then what we can do is drop down again. Okay, so we're inside of a POI. And then same again, we can look for the same liquidity concept, right? So here on the one minute time frame, we can see that this low has been taken out by here, right? So here we put in a low, we take out that low, then we push higher, okay? So then we can then use this exact same method this POI, let me just pull this one back. So this is the down and close candle, which swept liquidity and then broke minor structure to the upside. Okay. So then we can do exactly the same thing here and same again, obviously the 30 seconds time frame, the, or the seconds time frame in general will really help you out in this situation. But for now we can obviously take from the 50% uh, of the POI stop loss below the low, and then we can target where, we jump up onto the 50 minute time frame, and if we look from this point here where would you say the best place to take profits is so obviously i gave you a few different examples on what liquidity is how we kind of look for that you've got trend line liquidity you've got equal highs equal lows and then you've got old highs and old lows right so same again what you can do is take partials above this high above this high above this high here we have equal highs and then we obviously have equal highs here as well. So this could be your ultimate target, right? This is your equal highs, but this is the first pair of equal highs that we actually have in this range. So for me, opting these two equal highs here, um, the initial ones, because price could potentially come into this POI, like I said, um, and then react from it. So as we see here, we have a 3.5 pip stop loss. And then we can simply just target these equal highs. Okay, let's just put them to there. Okay, and as we can see, very nice. We run straight to the upside, smash the target. We actually do, do we push above this one? No. Okay, we don't quite push above this high here, um, but that can obviously be left for later for further liquidity. Okay, so these are your equal highs, taking partials above all of these little highs in here or you know you can pick whichever ones you would like to take your partials from um, and that's pretty much that okay so using premium versus discount understanding this is the range okay then looking for a POI um, or you can just look for a oh Mac's gonna die you can look for a higher time frame liquidity sweep and then you can look for a lower time frame liquidity sweep inside of a premium versus discount market. Okay. So if this helped you guys all out, let me know in the comments, um, you know, give me some feedback. Let me know anything that you would like to see in the future. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.